Okay, hey you guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here at Chanel, I am back at my proper place of residence. I was with my family for, you know what, a long time. Let's just say it. Let's just say it. Um, not a bad thing, just a long time. So happy to be back in this bare, bare bedroom. There is nothing to look at and um, I'm working on it. Okay, I'm, I'm really working on it. I don't know how to hang anything on these walls and um too lazy to hire somebody to do it you don't need to know that all you need to know is that i'm so excited to see you here today this is a movie reaction and commentary channel that means we're watching movies and i'm gonna chat on through it i'm gonna let you know what i see super excited to do today's movie it is the matrix i think it's from 1999 1999 rated r two hours and six minutes yikes it's the morning for me so sip our coffee I feel like I know a little bit about The Matrix, right? Okay, so I feel a lot of pressure to get it, first of all. I just want to get that on the table. I just want to get it. Um, I want to feel smart, so I'm going to be working hard. You're going to be watching me work real hard, and I want to apologize, but I'm not going to apologize. Why would I apologize for that? So I know that it's like existential, right? It's like blue pill, red pill. Would you rather stay in blissful ignorance or would you rather be woken up and live in the matrix and understand that what we're seeing is maybe a projection? That you're, the reality as you knew it is not reality. Oh, so trippy. I trip out on this all the time. I think, why not? Why, why wouldn't we be, you know, avatars being animated by something else I mean come on I feel like we studied this in school I went to a very liberal arts artsy fartsy college where we had to take philosophy sociology all the classes and um we would we would do argument rehearsals like this like what if it's a simulation what if um and then we like would run through all of it or there was like dualism soul body are they two things are they one thing can you split them blah 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 so I'm excited as a self-proclaimed ex smarty pants. I'm going to really like this. Okay, so without further ado, I want to just get right into today's watch, which is The Matrix from 1999. Woohoo! Oh, creepy. I'm like, I hope I get it. <laughs> God, I hope I get it. Morpheus believes he is the one. Do you? It doesn't matter what I believe. You don't, do you? Neo is the one. Sonnen. Oh, shit. The glasses, you guys. <laughs> oh, yes. These are those iconic shots. Those, like, freeze frame, the bullet shot. <laughs> Hello, stunts. How are ya? Good morning. Girl power. Okay, y'all, what did Trinity do? Why is she in trouble? Did she just res... Well, not resurrect, redirect the truck with her mind. The truck did hit the phone booth, but she like did something else. She unplugged from the matrix maybe. I stand the shit out of Keanu Reeves, my man. Wow, some Alice in Wonderland shit, right? You're my savior, man. My own personal Jesus Christ. You get caught using that. Yeah. Neo's the chosen one. The, that's our Jesus. Yeah. Sure. Oh, he followed the white rabbit. I don't know if I would. I'd be like, I'm staying here. <laughs> I'm tired. You know the question? Just as I did. What is the Matrix? I want to know what year it is. Like, is this some future time from 1999? Or is this 1999? You believe that you are special, 
that somehow the rules He is special. You. He's the chosen one. Worth noting that this movie is like, to give those like underworld themes, vibes, um, visuals, Thomas it's Anderson. like very green and black. It lacks like warmth. There's nothing warm about these colors. I'm uneasy, is all I have to say. Really uneasy. Ooh, Nokia, we love Nokias. How do you know all this? We don't have time, Neo. To your left, there's a window. Go to it. Is Neo like a hacker and he's in trouble? Insane. With like the feds? Because he's like at risk for like waking up. Nobody. Guesses. We love guesses from me, don't we? Because I'm right all the time. Why? What did he do? Go by the hacker alias Neo and are guilty of virtually every computer crime we have. He's a hacker. For. I knew it. And all that we're asking in return is your cooperation in bringing a known terrorist to justice. Not gonna work for me, man. How about I give you the finger <laughs> and you give me my phone call? What good is a phone call if you're unable to speak? <laughs> That's so creepy. I don't like that. <sighs> He's quite literally bugged. That was some Men in Black shit. I never liked Men in Black. Get in. I don't know what city we're in, but I've given up trying to guess that because I'm very bad at it. Fly back. Lift up your shirt. Yeah, get that shit out. Oh, get it out. Jesus Christ, that thing's real. Utterly grotesque and awesome at the same time. So I'm gonna go with Morpheus as like our god. You know, he sees all, omnipotent god. The honor is mine. Please. These are come themes sit. as old as time, like in movies. For me, we love a chosen one in this country. The rugged individual, you know, cowboy. The Matrix. Do you want to know what it is? I don't. Chanel doesn't. You have to see it for yourself. Iconic, the pills, right? Blue pill, red pill? You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. What are we doing, fam? I know what Neo's doing because we have two hours of this. I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. That's cool too. In the glasses, the reflection, isolate, pill, pill. We're gonna see a lot of reflections, I think, in this. Well. That looks like birth, my friends. Birth canal, right? Rabbit hole, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the claw game. <laughs> Why my eyes are... You've never used them before. This is the construct. This is the world that you know. The world as it was at the end of the 20th century. Take me back to that one, please. Where human beings are no longer born. We are grown. Whoa, that's how they're getting their energy? Facing the pure, horrifying precision, I came to realize the obviousness of the truth. Okay, so Neo's the chosen one. So he is gonna save can't go back. Can Humanity? I? The Oracle prophesized his return. 
and that his coming would hail the destruction of the Matrix. End the war. For what? Your training. So this is like straight up Star Wars too. Hell yeah. I want to be able to play any instrument I pick up, speak any language. Oh, I'm getting greedy. I feel like I should just like pick a language. How was he? Ten hours straight. He's a machine. I would like to learn how to become like a black belt in karate. Taekwondo, also fine. Uh, choreography is so nice to watch. It's so fun. More hits to fight Neo. <laughs> I love this little crew. Morpheus's glasses like defy reality. Like they don't have the thing. Defy gravity. I don't know why I said that. It's just a nice note. <laughs> That's how we know we're in the Matrix? I don't know. <laughs> if you're killed in the Matrix, you die here? The body cannot live without the mind. Wow. Powerful stuff. Can't separate the two. But I'm still just like, who's he gonna fight? Like, what? You can't wake these people up. There's nothing for them in the real world, guys. Right? What are you trying to tell me? I need this. That I can dodge bullets? No. I know he can. I'm trying to tell you that when you're ready, mm. you won't have to. I told you I can only show you the door. You have to walk through it. Reflection. Doorknob reflection. I'm gonna write down reflections. These are the other potentials. You can wait here. <laughs> the potential ones. There is no spoon. <laughs> then you'll see that it is not the spoon that bends. It is only yourself. Dig in the reflections, guys. It's so cool. Be right with you. This is the warmest light You're we've had so far. Bingo. That warm maternal energy. But there's still green present. Oh, see all the green? It's a real, like, signature of this movie. And don't worry about the vase. What vase? She vase. knew it! What's really going to bake your noodle later on is, would you still have broken it if I hadn't said anything? True. I'm curious. I can see why she likes you. Who? Not too bright. <laughs> You're an idiot, though. No one can tell you you're in love. You just know it. Through and through. Balls to bone. What kind of balls are we talking, though? I'm not the one. Sorry, kid. You got the gift. But it looks like you're waiting for something. What? Your next life, maybe. Who knows? And you're going to have to make a choice. One of you is going to die. Which one will be up to you? You have a good soul. Oh my god, this is like a mind f but it's not as bad as a mind f as I thought it was gonna be, honestly. Deja vu. What did you just say? Nothing He's been here before. Deja. Might have been, I'm not sure. Switch, A pocket. What does deja vu mean? Something bad? What is it? A deja vu is uh -oh. usually a glitch in the matrix. Why do hackers always have gloves on like that? Half gloves. You must get Neo out! It's all that matters! No! Well. No Morpheus, don't! Trinity, go! That prophecy is coming true quicker than we thought, right? Whoa. He looks freaking evil. It's like playing a game against a computer, right? He's like playing against like a bot. Guys. <laughs> you know. Was he bad? He to us, Trinity. He tricked us. So this you is this is um true. a betrayal. You this is a Judas. I mean, how can he be the one if he's dead? 
I don't believe it. Believe it or not. You're gonna kill him. Kill Morpheus. To save humanity. Have to. I wonder if Zion is like a Matrix 2 thing. They're dead. Maybe. She told me this would happen. She told me that I would have to make a choice. My life what? or his. I'm not the one, Trinity. The Oracle hit me with that too. No, you have to be. Because I love you. you can't be <laughs> there is another organism on this planet that follows the same pattern. Do you know what it is? A virus. A human. Wow. Would you please remove any metallic items you're carrying? Keys, boost change. Shoot them up. Let's go. Pop, pop, pop. I know we're going to get that bullet shot soon. That like 360 thing. They look so fucking cool. Holy shit. It. What building is this, by the way? <laughs> it's nice. Those sunglasses, too. Iconic, right? Early 2000s sunglass wear. There is no spoon. Whoa. That is so insanely cool. Wow. The shot, the shot, it's the shot. It's the shot, not the shot. It's both. Only human. Dodge this. Operator. Tank, I need a pilot program for a B-212 helicopter. Upload. Hurry. Wow. <laughs> Light him up. He's not gonna make it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Whoa. I have so many goosebumps from that shot. My whole body has chills. I know it. He's the one. I guess to to be the one, you have to believe you're the one. Right? And he didn't he didn't believe he was the one. So she's like, you're not. The Oracle's like, you're not the one. Do you believe it now, Trinity? I'm not the one, Morpheus. She told me I'm She told you. Exactly what you needed to hear. That's all. Uh-oh, this guy's about to wake up, isn't he? Everything the Oracle told me has come true. Everything but this. She's gonna die. Babe? What the hell just happened? An agent, you have to send me back. <laughs> A lot of cable work in this one, right guys? <laughs> Don't believe it, Neo. Don't believe it. Can they give Neo another program? Give him another... <laughs> Another black belt in something. <laughs> what did Trinity know? She said the Oracle said everything, everything the Oracle said has come true except this. What is it? Goodbye, Mr. Anderson. My name is Neo. Is Neo. Oh. 
The one. Neo. Oh my god. Really? How are you supposed to win against literal robot computers? Go on your left. No, your other left. Your other left. No, nope. Didn't happen. Not real. Just believe. Right? True love's kiss. <laughs> she gotta make out with him. I love you. Really? They're gonna do that? I didn't see that coming for this type of a series franchise. A true love's kiss moment. Okay, well. Wow. <laughs> Jedi training complete, fam. I love how after all that, he still has to pick up the phone. <laughs> Hello? Ew, kissing. I'm just kidding. A world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries. A world where anything is possible. Shells. Cause it's him. And he's the one. <sighs> okay, fam, The Matrix from 1999. I've now seen it. I thought that was, you know, just as cool as I expected it to be. You know, leather, glasses. I think I got it. Like, I think I understood what was up. Um, I think I was a little surprised at... Um, how in this one matrix, how this one was more about just waking up. Um, we didn't really get to like Zion or anything. We didn't really, you know, this was like the first part. So I think I do probably have to see the others. You can let me know if you think they're worth it. But um, yeah, and then there's one coming up now and like soon there's a new matrix movie coming out. So yeah, I think if anything, I was just surprised at how this one is um, the story of Neo. This is Neo's story his awakening, him understanding or believing that he is the one. So I'm here for that. What did I write? I just love this production design, okay? We love the greens and the blacks and the computer screens. Love the use of reflection and mirrors in this, so cool. I'm still kind of sitting with that those visuals, but really cool. Um, love all of like the production, production design, the direction. Um, just so cool, so cool. And okay, you know me, and the, this is the realm I like to play in. Like, I I love movies like this. Like, is this real? Is is, is am I real? Is this is this really here? Um, we did this in college. It's Plato's Caves. It's Plato's Cave, right? Do you, if you're unfamiliar, you have to look up the cave metaphor. Are we? Are what we perceiving around us? Is it real? Or are we just perceiving shadows of things that are real? I don't know. It's really trippy. I'm tripping out. Maybe the mirror motif and the ref Oh my God, wait. The mirrors and the constant use of reflections and things. Um, maybe that is a, like a nod to Plato's cave metaphor. Um, I don't want to butcher this metaphor. Oh, the allegory of the cave. Okay. Yeah, it's basically about people who have been imprisoned in a cave from childhood, but not from birth. The prisoners are chained so that their legs and necks are fixed, forcing them to gaze at the wall in front of them and not to look around at the cave at each other or themselves. Behind the prisoners is a fire, and between the fire and the prisoners is a raised walkway with a low wall, behind which people walk carrying objects or puppets of men and other living things. So the, the people walk behind the wall so their bodies do not cast shadows for the prisoners to see, but the objects they carry do. The prisoners cannot see any of what is happening behind them. They're only able to see the shadows cast upon the cave wall in front of them. The sounds of the people talking echo off the walls, and the prisoners believe these sounds come from shadow. Socrates suggests that the shadows are reality for the prisoners because they've never seen anything else. So this is their reality. Their reality is just form, outlines of things, form. They do not realize that what they see are shadows of objects in front of them, a 
in front of a fire, much less that these objects are inspired by real things outside of the cave, which they do not see. Also, few humans will ever escape the cave, the Matrix. This is not some easy task, and only a true philosopher with decades of preparation would be able to leave the cave up the steep incline. Most humans will live at the bottom of the cave, and few will be the major artists that project the shadows with the use of human-made light. Departure from the cave, Neo, and then return to the cave as a freed prisoner, but now you're forever changed. Definitely look up the allegory of the cave. Um, that's the Matrix. That's this movie. Old claim, Shan. No, I'm pretty sure that I'm not the first to say this. I'm probably the millionth and first person to say this. Okay, let's um, go into some trivia. I don't have anything crazy to say, just that that was cool. Like, that was super cool to see. And um, what city are we in? And then Cypher is like our Judah, our Judas. Judas, right? That'll probably come up in the trivia. So let's go straight to the trivia section. What do you say? The opening action scene took six months of training and four days to shoot. Holy hell. Wow. To prepare for the scene where Neo wakes up in the pod, Keanu Reeves lost 15 pounds and shaved his whole body to give Neo an emaciated look. All scenes that take place within the Matrix have a green tint, as if watching them through a computer monitor, while scenes in the real world have a blue tint. Blue is also, yeah, that's that desaturated, like, pale, pale color. Blue is also used at a minimum in the Matrix scenes, since the directors thought blue was more of a real-world color, despite, ironically, blue being the least often occurring color in nature. The fight scene between Morpheus and Neo, which is neither in the real world nor in the Matrix, is tinted yellow. Yes, I had that question. I was like, where is this fight scene happening? I thought it was in the Matrix. It is not. The studio insisted on a great deal of explanatory dialogue as they described the screenplay as the script that nobody understands. Um, I think we've come a long way since then. Won all four categories it was nominated for that year at the Academy Awards. This is the largest clean sweep of nominated categories for a film not nominated for Best Picture. Lawrence Fishburne stated once he read the script, he did not understand why other people found it confusing. However, he had a doubt if the movie would ever get made because it was so smart. Oh my god, a Lawrence Fishburne is awake. Oh, okay. In Greek mythology, Morpheus is the god of dreams. Somewhat ironic considering Morpheus's role here is to awaken people. In the first 45 minutes of the film, Neo has 80 lines. 44 of these lines are questions, just over half of his total dialogue averaging at roughly one question per minute. By the middle of 2002, the famous bullet time sequence had been spoofed in over 20 different movies. I mean, yeah, that's why I know that sequence so well. I've seen it a lot in pop culture, and it's still cool to see it here. By filming in Australia, the filmmakers kept the budget at 60 million. The movie would not have been greenlit by Warner Brothers otherwise because it would have cost a record 180 million for a US-based production. Wow, we go offshore for those tax incentives, my friends. Showed, shot almost entirely in Sydney, Australia. Um, the location scouts found it very difficult to find burned out American ghetto looking locations. Many of the urban decay locations had to be created from scratch. Oh, this is like Carrie Ann Moss's big, big break. When Carrie Ann Moss saw the first cut, it was also the first time she'd ever seen herself in a movie before. Yup, we got Star Wars references, didn't we? Lawrence Fishburne said that Morpheus was like being Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader all in one character. Yeah, you guys, I don't know about you. I'm taking blue pill all the way. I like good food and being comfortable. Film pays homage to Lewis, Car wow, Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Although there are also references to Karl Marx, Franz Kafka, Zen, and Homer's Odyssey. Yes. Visual effects comprise roughly 20% of the entire film. The movie draws inspiration from Plato's Allegory of the Cave. Yeah, we know. According to Lana Wachowski, for slow-mo bullet ripple effects, sound designer Dane A. Davis put bullets on strings and whirled them around his studio. He also digitized raindrops against window panes to create the sound of the matrix code. Interesting. Wow. This movie trivia is kind of off the charts. Yes, Neo is often referred to as one, which is an anagram of Neo. Unscramble Neo and you get one. Oh, I didn't understand the cookie. Now I get it. On a computer, a cookie is a piece of data. The Oracle gives Neo a literal and figurative cookie. Yeah. There are many who might legitimately claim to have invented the time-freezing photographic technique used in the movie. Might have been Michael Gondry, who used it for the first time in a commercial for an insurance company, and then in a video clip for Bjork. It might have been architectural graphics artist Matthew Bannister, 
or Tim McMillan, who demonstrated the technique on British television in 1993. It may be that each of them and others invented it independently. Year, the film takes place around the year 2199. It takes place six months before The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions. Okay, so those are the sequels. Okay, so there is like a stupid amount of trivia for this. So I always like to cap it around like 10-ish minutes or less. So if you're interested, you have to go to the IMDb movie trivia page. You will love it. Um, this movie was super fun. I feel like I've taken my own red pill, so to speak. And, um, I don't know. Let me know if I have to catch the sequels, um, in preparation maybe for the 2021 release. So you can definitely let me know. Look what my sister made me. And like, I know it's not literally blue pill, red pill, but come on, which one would you choose? Ignorance is bliss, my friends. Okay. So you have seen my reaction to The Matrix. So definitely let me know what you think of this movie. Did it blow your mind when it came out at the time? Were you like, I don't really get it. Did your relationship to this movie change over time? That would be a really interesting question for me to have answered. And um, of course, if you want my full length to this, um, description box below for Patreon information. And on that note, of course, as always, I'm going to go eat. See ya. <laughs>